This ladder logic program is designed to control the red, amber, and green lights of a traffic signal for traffic in one direction. The program uses three TON timer instructions in a cascaded and reciprocating arrangement. When the program first starts, all of the done bits will be a zero. The examine if open T4 colon 2 slash DN instruction on the first rung will be true and the timer on delay T4 colon 0 will start timing. After 30 seconds when timer T4 colon 0 is done, its done bit will cause the next timer T4 colon 1 to start timing. T4 colon 1 will time for 25 seconds and its done bit will start timer T4 colon 2. After 5 seconds, when timer T4 colon 2 is done, its done bit will become a 1 and the examine if open on the first rung will become false, which will cause T4 colon 0 to become false, and reset the accumulated value and set the done bit to a 0. This change of status will cause the second rung to become false and timer T4 colon 1 to reset its accumulated value and done bit. When the done bit of T4 colon 1 is a 0, the third rung becomes false and T4 colon 2 is false. When T4 colon 2 becomes false, its accumulated value is reset to 0 and the done bit set to 0. On the next scan cycle, the first rung will become true and the timing sequence will begin again. The last three rungs actually turn on the lights. Each light is turned on when its respective timer's enable bit is true and its done bit is false. The simulation has been captured about two seconds into the timing for the red light. Observe how the done bit of each timer controls the next timer in sequence. The program is designed to run continuously, but we will stop the capture after the program cycles back to the red light. This ladder logic program is designed to control a traffic light in two directions. Four TON timer instructions are used. The first three timers are cascaded and turned on by the done bit of the previous timer. The done bit of T4 colon 2 resets and turns on T4 colon 0 to repeat the cycle. Timer T4 colon 3 is started at the same time as T4 colon 0. The first four lights are controlled by an examine if closed address to the timer's enable bit and it with an examine if open address to the timer's done bit. This would be the logical equivalent of the timer timing bit. The east-west amber is on when T4 colon 3 slash DN is a 1 and T4 colon 0 slash DN is a 0. This would be the time between T4 colon 3 finishing and T4 colon 0 finishing are 5 seconds. The east-west red is turned on when T4 colon 0 is a 1, which is basically when the north-south green light is on. This is the simulation for the traffic light. The program will cycle continuously, but we will pause the simulation to make it easier for you to examine the status of the timers and lights. Notice how the status of the enable and done bits control the light sequence. At this step in the sequence, the north-south red light is on and the east-west green light is on. Timers T4 colon 0 and T4 colon 3 are timing.
At the next step, T4 colon 3 is finish timing, which turns off the east-west green light and turns on the east-west amber light. The north-south red light will remain on until T4 colon 0 has finished timing. At this step, T4 colon 0 and T4 colon 3 timers have completed timing and the done bit of T4 colon 0 timer has started the T4 colon 1 timer. The north-south green light is on and the east-west red light is on. Timer T4 colon 1 has finished timing and started timer T4 colon 2, which turns off the north-south green light and turns on the north-south amber light. When T4 colon 2 finishes timing, the sequence will begin again.